Hello, and welcome to the Now That You Have VMware Cloud Foundation video series. In today's video, we are going to cover VMware Operations for Logs, formerly called Log Insight. We'll cover the services it provides, why you may want to use it, we'll walk through the install, and we're going to give you a high-level overview of the user interface. Let's jump into the product features. Log Insight is centralized log storage. It provides a centralized location to store and analyze log data from any source in your environment. This can include physical, virtual, and multi-cloud environments. It enables real-time logging for VMware environments and any system that uses syslog. Unlike other solutions, it is not licensed by the amount of logs ingested. And ARIA Operations for Logs is scalable. You can start small and grow as your needs change in both size and redundancy. It provides intelligent analysis. It has a powerful querying mechanism, which helps you quickly find events of interest, reducing the time to solve your problem. Dashboards can help you visualize environments quickly and easily. You can use one of the many pre-built dashboards or assemble your own. ARIA Operations for Logs also has deep integration with vSphere, ARIA Operations, and many other products. There are also agents you can deploy on client systems in your environment. For Windows, Log Insight can collect system event logs and any other file-based data. And on Linux, as you might guess, it can collect logs from any file that you want. Let's jump into the product install. The first step is to download the ARIA Operations for Logs installer. You can do this from the Broadcom support portal by opening support broadcom.com in your web browser. After you've logged in, you should see a black menu bar on the left side of the screen. If you don't, click on the selector directly to the left of your username in the upper right hand corner and choose VMware Cloud Foundation. Now that the black menu bar is exposed, click on My Downloads. We're going to search for VMware ARIA Suite as this is where the software is stored. And we'll start drilling down into the ARIA suite. As you have VCF, you're entitled to any edition of the ARIA suite. Let's choose VMware ARIA Suite Enterprise. We want the latest release. As of right now, this is the 2019 version of the suite. And now we can see we have an option for VMware ARIA Operations for Logs. And we'll click View Group, which brings us to the download page. We want to install it, so we need the virtual appliance, not the upgrade package. We'll click the download icon, and the download will begin. After a few minutes, you'll be ready to install. Before we begin, we'll need two items, a static IP address for login site and forward and reverse DNS entries. In vCenter, click on the cluster or host you want to install login site to, right click and deploy OVF template. We'll navigate to the file we downloaded for the install. And click Next. On this screen, we can give the virtual machine a specific name or take the default, as well as specify the location for the VM in the vCenter inventory. Now we'll choose a compute resource. In my environment, I'll choose the cluster. We can review the details before we begin, clicking Next when ready. We'll accept the license agreement. On this screen, we'll choose the configuration for Login Site. This refers to the amount of RAM, CPU, and disk space allocated to the virtual machine, and it's dependent on the size of your environment. If you click on each option, the description will tell you the size of environment it's meant for. I will choose extra small because I have a very small number of hosts. Now we'll select the data store to store the VM on. We can also choose the virtual disk format, one of the thick provisioned option or the thin provision option. We'll choose our network. And now we can provide the last bits of detail needed to install Login Site. We need to have a root password, host name, 
and networking properties. Add the default gateway, the domain name for the VM, a search path in DNS if you need it, as well as name servers and IP information. The VM will deploy and we'll power it on. Once the VM has reached the blue screen console, wait a few more minutes and then go to your web browser and navigate to the DNS entry you provided. We can now do the final step of configuration, providing information for the administrator account or the admin account. This is how you log into the appliance. We'll add a license key. If you want to have email system notifications sent, provide an email address. We'll check our time configuration. I'll take the default. We can also configure SMTP if you want to send the notifications. I'll skip this part. If you want to import an SSL certificate, you can do that. And now we're done. Login site is installed. Our next step is to configure how it's going to ingest data. You can configure login site to integrate with vSphere. You can deploy agents for your Linux or Windows guests or use syslog. For this exercise, we'll configure vSphere integration and add a vCenter server. We're accepting the certificate of vCenter. Mine has an untrusted self-signed certificate. When we click Save, Login Site will configure vCenter and its hosts to send logs. Going back out to the dashboard, we can see my login site is now collecting data. My recommendation is to let this collect data for a few days and then log back in to see what is going on. In our next video, we'll dive deeper into what to do with Login Site now that you have it installed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.